So do you remember all the way back in section one, I asked you to write a list of some of the things that your inner critic has to say, that nasty person. Well, if you look at that list now, this is the kind of thing that we are going to be able to start to address using the exercise I'm going to teach you today. Uh, and if you missed that section, don't worry about it because the entire recording of this coaching session is going to be available afterwards on Match. So don't worry, you can get it on Catch Up. Um, okay, so this exercise is really cool. It's called the Circles Exercise and it is super simple. All I want you to do, and you can do this right now if you happen to have a pen and paper to hand, is I want you to draw four circles on a piece of paper. Now we're gonna use these circles to really start to separate out the what happened from how we feel about it, from what our inner critic has to say to what our inner champion has to say. Hmm. So let's take a really common dating scenario that can get us down, which is someone hasn't responded to your message. Um, so to start with, in that very first circle, all I want you to write down is I want you to write down what has actually happened. I want the facts. The facts are nothing but the facts. Um, so that could be, I sent a message to someone and they haven't replied for 48 hours. That's it. We're not going to put any feelings in this circle. This circle is just about what happened. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our second circle. And in our second circle, this is where you can allow your inner critic to have their voice. I want you to write down all of the nasty things your inner critic is telling you, which is dinging your self-esteem. Is it telling you that, you know, they took one look at your profile and decided they weren't interested? Is it telling you that your messages are boring and they're not good enough? Is it telling you that you're never going to find love? That's the kind of stuff that we put in this circle. Now, the reason it goes in this circle is because it's not, it's, I want you to notice, it's not going in the fact circle. This is not a fact. This is a story. This is an idea that has been created and that it's just your inner critic trying to run your life and we don't want to give them too much power. So we're going to keep them in this circle. So moving on to our third circle. Within this circle, this is where, let's, get the, let's bring them out. This is where your inner cheerleader, your inner champion is really, get, they're gonna start to have their say now. So in this circle, I want you to write down totally different story about this turn of events. Is it that, you know what? Either they might get back to you in time. Is it that they are obviously not checking their messages very much? Is it that, they're just not the right person for you because they didn't connect with the message you sent. Is it that you, is it that it's okay that it wasn't them because you want someone who's more communicative? Is it that you still really loved the message that you sent? You stand by that message. I want you to use this circle to write down some positives. Now, remember people, circle, this circle is no less true than the circle where your inner critic is having their say. It's just a different perspective to take on the same thing. Remember, it's also not a fact circle, but it's a circle where you can allow your inner champion to have a say. And of course, in order to build your motivation, in order to build your confidence, I want you to be coming back to your, your inner champion circle. This is the circle where you're gonna be really building yourself up. Okay, so what do we do with circle four? Well, circle four is what action steps can you take is it that after looking at this information, your action steps might be that there's no action to be taken and actually you're super happy with everything as it is. It's going to be perhaps your action step is just, just to keep trying. Perhaps your action step is to make it more clear in your messages what kind of a person you're looking out for. Perhaps your action step is to put more personality in your messages. Perhaps your action step is to send more messages. Perhaps your action step is to give it another week before you make a decision about this person. So by creating these four circles, what I'm intending for you to do is really start to separate out the what happened from what your inner critic has to say, from the inner champion, to what action steps you have to take. So now I want you to look at those four circles and you can, you can use this exercise. It doesn't have to be with someone not getting back to your message. It can be with pretty much anything that's causing some stress for you or that you just don't feel very happy or comfortable about. So remember, circle one, that's the fact. Circle two, inner critic. Circle three, inner champion. Circle four, 
What action steps are you going to take to build your confidence? And if you want, you can even put a nice big cross through circle two with your inner critic. You can cross them out and be like, that's, that's it, shush. So remember, when you are looking about your dating life, the most important person here is you. It's not about winning over or impressing anybody else. This is all about how can you feel really good about yourself? How can you build your confidence? How can you keep your motivation levels high? This is the good stuff, which is really going to set you up to find the right relationship for you further down the line. So before we go into our recap, I have our last survey of the evening. So please make sure you vote in this one as it's our last one. And this is really about your inner critic. It's, do you have negative beliefs about dating? Do you have an inner critic which messes with you? Do you have an inner critic that we could do with shushing using this um, exercise? Can you vote now and let me know about that? Okay, so now we've done that survey while I'm waiting for the results, let's take a quick recap of this section. So everyone, I want you to remember that what actually happened, the facts and our story about it, that's the inner critic and inner champion, are two different things. So don't get them mixed up. Remember, you can just cross out that inner critic anytime. Secondly, I really want you to focus on creating a story that empowers you. If we're going to make up a story about something, let's choose one where our inner champion is having the say. Finally, I want you to really focus on positive action. What can you do? What well, it's always comes down to ourselves. What can you do to get closer to what you want? Okay, so I've got three questions that users have already sent in. And our first one here, um, I've still a very relatable one, is how do you get a real connection with someone online? So I'm going to, again, put this back to you. And I'm going to say, in order to get a real connection online, we have to ourselves show up as a real person. What I mean by that is, Make sure you put effort into your dating experiences. Make sure you're present. Take time to write your messages. Set aside time every day where you can really focus on sending your messages on match. Really be authentic in your communication and make effort to really connect with someone. Listen to what they're saying. Look for details in their profile. So often dating is a bit of a question of we have to put what we want into dating in order to get those positive experiences out of it. Okay, so this next question that I have, I think is very, 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 very relatable, particularly for any uh, gentlemen that are out there, which is how do I know the fine line between being creepy, getting to know more, being creepy and getting to know more about a lady during our conversations? So I think the, the difference between being creepy and just getting to know someone is in fact, can I think be boiled down to this idea of reciprocation? You need and want her to be reciprocating. If a woman isn't getting back to your messages, she's not really participating. She's not making an effort in the conversation. In fact, this isn't about men and women. This is for everyone. If someone isn't making that effort, then that should be something where perhaps they don't meet your standards. So instead, and what will make your efforts non-creepy <laughs> is instead where if you take that feedback loop, so if someone doesn't seem willing to chat, just leave it because there's going to be so many other people who will be willing to be open with you. So the final question um, of this section, and of course, now we have 30 minutes live Q&A just around the corner. So hang on in there for that. I'm going to be taking loads more questions, but this one is a corker and it is, why am I still single? And I just want to say, haven't we all had that thought before? I know I definitely have. So if you're thinking there at the moment, why are you still single? I want you to remind yourself that, that, that being, there's nothing wrong with being single. Being single is not a disease. It's not, the, it's not lesser than being in a relationship. In fact, again, this is going to be where instead of thinking, am I doing something wrong? This could be a case of actually acknowledging what you're doing right. Because sometimes 
you don't have to just do the right thing once. Sometimes it's about consistently taking the right actions over a period of time before you meet that amazing partner. So just because you're single and you haven't perhaps got the partnership that it seems that you want right now, it doesn't mean that you're wrong or you're doing anything wrong. It could be a case that you actually just need to keep going and you keep needing to build your confidence and keep empowering yourself and keep giving space to your inner champion here to keep you staying in that race. So I want you to focus on keeping showing up. I want you to focus on keeping taking those positive actions and I want you to keep focus on being kind to yourself. Okay, so before our live Q&A, let me get that very last survey result. And actually, most of you said that you don't have negative feelings about dating, which I think is amazing. So maybe, but we did a great job here of crossing that inner critic out and they are out of action from now on and may honestly, if we can all, all of us, have our inner champion speaking to us more often, the world is going to be a happier place. So let's keep that inner champion going.